Hi, I'm Christy Sullins. I'm Angel's mama, and I'm excited to be here to share her story with you today. I'm Johnny Sullins. I'm her daddy, uh, and I am honored to be a part of the Riedel and Cody Fund to share her story today. A little bit about how I met Angel for the first time. Um, you know, I stepped out that morning, uh, and I had steel toe boots. I mean, I must have made one heck of a racket down this this iron staircase that led up to uh, our our apartment. And I kind of looked up and. Right when I looked up, there was this little golden dog. Um, she was just a little puppy, just sitting there like a little dingo pup, <laughs> with her little ears flopped over like this, and just staring at me like this. And like I said, I, I must have made t a ton of noise. And she was sitting right down there at the base of the, uh, the stairs and didn't move. It was almost as though she was waiting on me. And uh, right at that exact moment, I remember the sun just peeked over the, uh, the, uh, the rooftops and uh, just lit her up like gold. And uh, I just scooped her up, ran her up the stairs because I was late for work, threw her in the apartment and said, Honey, there's a dog in the apartment. I'll see you later. There was this little dog with these ears bigger than her head. I mean, she was so cute. Picked her up, put her in the bath right away, and she let me. She just looked at me and trusted me, and I brought her in the bed, and she just put her paw right on top of me, looked me in my eyes, and... That was it. We discovered that Angel had uh, a lump on her uh, one morning. We, uh, after we do the exercise and after we do the training, we always do, uh, uh, we call it a love attack. Or Pucci Pilates. Or Pucci Pilates. That morning we, uh, we rolled, you know, rolled, she rolled over on her belly and was doing all the playful dog angel stuff, just, you know, loving every bit of it and just eating it all up. And uh, I was rubbing her belly and I noticed that she had a lump uh, uh, near the lower part of her abdomen and it was kind of uh, oddly shaped and it took us by surprise. We had, you know, just gotten married. Uh, about two weeks before? <laughs> about two weeks before that, she was a flower girl at her wedding and then all of a sudden, bam, here it is, just a whole bunch of reality all of a sudden. Angel went to the doctor, she went to go see her vet, Dr. Tosh, and, uh, you know, Dr. Tosh took a test. I mean, she stuck something inside and she, uh, she tested the lump and it came back negative for cancer. And so we were like, great, you know, this is awesome. So, okay, thank goodness. So she's like, here's some antibiotics, but here's some medicine just in case it's a mast cell tumor. If, if it is, this medication will make it go away. And if it's not, then, um, you know, happen. nothing will happen. No big deal, we'll just take her off. So the lump was still there, it had gone down, but it was still noticeable. And the thing was, was that Romeo had been sniffing at Angel's behind. I know dogs do that. But Romeo doesn't do that really to Angel all the time. And he wouldn't quit. At, he was he wouldn't quit pestering her. He was just after her all the time. And so I thought, you know, something's up. It's this something's not right. He just kind of it was, it was like he was trying to tell me like to fix it or something. And so um, we called the vet again, and she said, okay, you know, bring her back in. We're gonna do another test. So they did another one, um, and this time it actually came back. Um, Positive. Yeah, we we she called us just four days later. We got a phone call and uh, and I was sorting Mardi Gras beads and she just said it's positive for cancer. She has lymphoma. And, you know we could extend her life with chemotherapy, but that she would not make our dog sick. She would not do it. She said that she will make her comfortable and she will try and give her as long as possible, but that. It's just about making them comfortable. It's just yeah. about making them comfortable. It was that not was, what we expected. It was like a punch in the face or something. We were just like, this can't be true. So <laughs> then uh, Johnny said... I said, is, it would, we were kind of hoping for a cure. Is that a possibility? You know, they call me an optimist, but I, for some reason I think there's one out there. Meeting with the uh, the internist, internalist that was going to stage Angel, um, she had uh, given us you know a, a certain set of options, and none of those sounded good. She came back. Um, she came back with an answer to my question: Was there a cure? And the the answer was, well, there is actually, and um, it's relatively new. It's only been around for a couple of years, and it's called a bone marrow transplant. And I thought, what? That's for human beings. They did a bone marrow transplant for a dog. You know, we were, the bone marrow transplant option that the doctor gave us sounded like a real a real winner the, the, the one and only option that we could really hope for and, and she was she was surprised the doctor Dr. Gayron came back and, and her exact words were well, 
you wanted a cure? You got it. And we, we were like, great. <laughs> yeah, what is it? And when she told us, uh, to, you know, can I talk to some of my colleagues from across the country? They said, this is the only answer. This is the only way that, that we know to start curing canine lymphoma. And so we're like, how much? She said, $16,000. And then Johnny said, how long do we have to raise the money? We decided to go ahead and she said, you need to decide in a week. All I could see was that uh, you know our family was in a situation where we just had a wedding, so our savings was gone. I called uh, Christy up to let her know, and I called up a couple of lawyer friends of ours and got the ball rolling. And I said, "They're just going to do it. I mean, just no question about it. From this point forward, it's it's not a question anymore. It's just a matter of knowing and and uh, walking the path." Just the confusion and shock and pain and all of these things are happening so you're in crisis mode and you just, all you want to do is help your dog, you know. The one thing that we knew was is uh, we needed to count on our community, we needed to you know, count for our resources locally and maybe there's some people out there going through the same thing. So um, my wife put together um, several Craigslist ads, um, I, I don't know if we had done uh, newspaper ads yet on that one, but it just basically put the word out there that we were looking for donations. We're at the point now where we were making these, you know, these, these local efforts, we had uh, the large garage sale, the bake sale, um, you know, we were starting to establish ourselves in the dog community with the LSPCA, with, you know, Canine Connections, and um, starting to really understand, you know, uh, you know, how the dog community works, how uh, you get assistance and that sort of thing, and uh, that's when we kind of realized, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a mathematician as well, so, you know, doing the math here, it's not looking like you know, we're getting the, quite the slope that I need in order to really get to our goal of $16,000. I mean, right. we were doing something, but it wasn't going to be big enough. So we, we knew we needed a website. And it was a fun, beautiful site, but it didn't have any search engine optimization. Um, it wasn't able to be searched by Google because it wasn't an HTML format. We just did everything wrong. And then uh, Christy uh, told me about this uh, this one new organization, brand new organization called the Real and Cody Fund. And I said, okay, well, you know, what, what, what are they about? You know, and, you know, did you talk to someone? And, you know, who'd you talk to? I submitted something to Canine Cancer Awareness. And um, they were not able to fund Angel, but they were able to put her story up. And so we put her story up, and we were trying to raise the last of the money. And if we didn't get that $5,000, then Angel wasn't going to get the transplant. And we got a phone call. And, uh, or actually, we got an email. And then um, I, then I spoke. She said, there's a new organization, and they want to help you. And we're like, what? I mean, it was, it was in the 11th hour. <laughs> And then we uh, spoke to the Riedel and Cody Fund, and they uh, they donated five thousand dollars to save Angel's life. And if it wasn't for them, then she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be here today. No, she wouldn't, because that was it. We were at the end of the road, and we were five thousand dollars short. There was no more to beg, steal, borrow. That was it. So they they saved Angel's life. Having a, a site like the Riedel and Cody Fund, where you're given all of those tools. You're given, you know, the the, the full package. You've got the the forums, the networks, the doctors, um, you know, the the, the 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 funds on top of that, and a, a premium quality website. Uh, I can't tell you how difficult it is, really, just to make it look nice. Uh, the the uh, the essence of it gives you credibility. Uh, credibility is a huge thing for people, especially when you talk about dog cancer. Uh, if you're trying to raise funds. Uh, having having a place to go to like the Real and Cody Fund website to get information, uh, you know, uh, share your story with people it is uh, pivotal, I think. And to be able to talk to people that are going through the same thing as you or who have already gone through it is just priceless. To be able to share what you've learned, to be able to tell people, and it all to be documented in one place, in a place that you can trust, where there are professionals. All across the board, literally the board. Well, they are experts, and they're going to answer. Any question you have, everything that's on the site is legitimate. And now here we are, you know, five months out and she's still in remission. So 100% so cancer. So by all statistical means, according to NCSU, she is uh, cured. That's, that's, so that's, she's incre cured. that's incredible. And if, our, if Angel's story can help save another dog's life, just information, even extend another dog's life, or give a, another pet owner some peace of mind, then um, it's then it's all worth it. Thank you all for listening to our story today. We wish you the best of luck with your pack.
Thank you so much for listening to Angel's story today. We hope that some of the information that we've shared will help you on your own personal journey. Good luck.